coming up now on the expected invasion of gypsy moth caterpillars, which we told you about on Monday. A top Republican in the Rhode Island House wants the governor to declare war on the emerging caterpillars before they do catastrophic damage to Rhode Island's trees. Meteorologist T.J. Del Santo continues our local coverage. The gypsy moth caterpillars continue to hatch here in Rhode Island, and now the House Minority Leader wants the governor to take action. They may be small now, but these caterpillars will be munching on our trees, growing bigger and bigger. Another year of significant defoliation in Rhode Island is expected. Rhode Island House Minority Leader Patricia Morgan wants action now. You did a story. There's little, there's little, there are little caterpillars are coming. So we need to plan for it right away. Sky Drone 12 over Gloucester, one area hit hard by gypsy moth caterpillars the past two years. The Department of Environmental Management estimates that nearly half of Rhode Island's forests were defoliated last year, and it is expected to get worse. And that affects our quality of life. It affects our tourism. It affects our campers. Anybody who wants to be outside is going to be a affected by the gypsy moss this year. Representative Morgan sent a letter to Governor Gina Raimondo stating after two years of defoliation, trees could start dying this year. We need to act. In the letter, Morgan said we need to have in place a program to preserve one of our state's most valuable natural resources, our forests and woodlands. Morgan reading from the letter. Time is of the essence, and our state's preparedness for this potentially catastrophic environmental event must be paramount. In Morgan's backyard, her crabapple tree has been hit by these caterpillars, but she's really concerned for the entire state this year and for years to follow. I asked her to plan and implement a program that will eradicate the gypsy moss. The DEM told me that they are educating people right now about what they can do to combat the gypsy moth caterpillars and they have no plans to do aerial spraying right now. I also reached out to the governor's office for comment on the letter. So far, no response. In the weather yard, I'm TJ Del Santo, Eyewitness News.